All right. Hello, Big Cat coming at you live with this new Digimon Survive. Not Survive. Uh, sorry for the episode. I know it's been a long time. I'm so sorry. And I've been trying to catch up with all this. Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. Um, I got one lucky with me. Actually, I have two. I don't know. The other one's like ghosting in and out. So that's normal for him. All right. Uh, and the other lucky can introduce themselves now. Hello, I'm Vogue Mage, also known as Lucky One, or whatever. Let's go. Oh, perfect introduction. So perfect. You don't know how many times we had like failed overly, uh, epically trying to get this going. Uh, recording software, so nice. So nice. And I should turn this sound off, because it's going to try and record into it. <laughs> It'll be fine. Actually, no, no, oh, I forgot. Craig uh, separates all the audio. So I like you Craig. That. Yeah, you should love Discord, Craig. Craig can do everything. Craig is love. Craig is life. Good and Shrek. I don't know about that. <laughs> no, I don't know if Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Oh, I thought you said better than I was like, mm. <laughs> but um, oh, so I didn't tell you about the computer. So, you already know that I'm going to school and through a program, and I think it's what the program is. Whatever I need, I can put a request letter in, and they will basically get it for me as long as I can prove that it's necessary. You understand, oh, that's, right? That's nice. Yeah, so I put it in, I was like, hey, I need a computer because the computer I have right now is strong, but it's not strong enough to handle a lot of rendering for like 3D stuff and animation related things are going to happen later on. Because right now I'm only taking like the beginner classes stuff like that, just modeling. I'm not getting into like the actual 3D animation. That stuff's going to just destroy my computer. <laughs> so I need something a lot stronger. So after about like three quarters of like fighting with them, I finally got it. <laughs> and the graphics card may be broke. That is amazing. What kind of graphic card do you have? So the one I have in my computer right now is a 2070 RTX GeForce. The one that's in the computer that's chilling off to the side, I'll wait to some guy to come in here and try and help me fix it, is a 3070 RTX GeForce. I think I have a 3070 Ti. I'm not too sure anymore. It's a good, it's a really good bad boy, but the problem is it's not being registered at all. I mean, I tried to do multiple different ways to get it to work. Uh, it, it fought me to the end of the world because I guess I just get to suffer because why not? Is the cable just bad? I don't know. I do not. Oh, yeah. Uh, the cable for the HDMI is not bad. I know like the same HDMI cable I use for my own computer plus the monitor. So I know the monitor isn't bad. And I know the HDMI cable is not bad either because both of them work for the normal monitor and they have decent uh, output rate and everything with like that. So um, I already can tell it has to be the graphics card because the graphics card won't even uh, register on the computer at all. Everything else registers. I reg it registers the uh, 64 gigabytes of RAM, registers the motherboard, and everything else. Everything else works fine. It's just it doesn't register the graphics card, which gives it some like really weird like graphical errors. But it still works because it knows it's there, but it's not registered properly, so it's not actually there, and so it has this weird error. So yeah, I was I was thinking it could be either the graphic card itself or maybe the cable that the graphic card connects to. Because if I remember right, it is it connects to like. The motherboard, the power supply, and then something else, I believe. And it could be the cable between the motherboard and the graphics card. That's messed up. For the graphics card itself. Okay, but so for what I'm doing now is I'm just going to have to call this guy again tomorrow in the morning. Because there's a computer guy that like, drives out to your area. But you, or, well, you can drive to him. And uh, he usually fixes it, or tries to fix it, or does an op six test. And so... I'm going to see if he can fix it without too much worry. And if he can, then I will um, just pay him to have him fix it. And then the computer's here and it's good to go. And it's good to stay. And then probably over the break, once I finish my uh, quarter up, I can uh, do the actual transfer between my two computers and then put this sucker up there. Because the bad boy has a ter uh, terabyte hard drive, SSD, and an extra terabyte hard drive. Two terabyte hard drives of, uh, I think, SSD also. So, nice. Suckers fast and strong. I have that. Like, I have a 2 terabyte SD, 2 terabyte HDD, and then 
a uh, uh, external uh, two terabyte SD. I have a lot of space and most of it for videos. <laughs> So what it's looking at right now uh, is when you bought the buy the complete edition for the uh, Switch version of CyberSooth and uh, Hacker's Memory, they gave you all the DLC with it, like just straight up. So basically that Omnimon is just DLC. It's a midget version of the original. So we'll be using oh no. Uh Yes, I used them for a little bit. Then after that, I stopped. Because okay. he's also he's also level one too. He's not like over overpowered, but he does have powerful moves. But he's not over overpowered. If that makes any sense. The day Richard one's better. I love that you're like face painting to walls. It's on a switch Joy-Con. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I wasn't being sarcastic. It was like me being like genuinely nostalgic of like old games way back then. Dank's here. Hey, Dank. Oh my God. How do you feel about face painting to walls? Huh? <laughs> oh, you're talking about me, me face painting into a, a, a multiple walls for no apparent reason. I love it. So somebody decided they wanted to do a uh, system update. What's up with your computers? <laughs> Not my computer. My internet service provider. No, oh. no, no. Oh, nice. that's first. <laughs> no, computers not what I have a problem with. And I'm, I'm going to get in rant mode. I have a problem with Maya right now. <laughs> Fuck that program. <laughs> Fuck that program. I... So I, I showed you some of the stuff that I did earlier, right? Mm -hmm. So normally that should only take me two hours. Because I did all the modeling in UVs the past two days. So yeah. two days before, I did all the modeling in UVs for. So they were all good to go. Yeah. The only two UVs, because there's two UVs I didn't touch, and actually technically three, and I didn't touch those because they had to have a high, low poly weight. And I was like, I'll do that today, along with also doing um, the textures, because I have Substance Painter, and I also have access to Substance, but I, or uh, just normal uh, sample Substance, which I didn't get a chance to even do that, because <sighs> for reasons, I'll get to that, well, why I didn't get a chance to anyway. So... <laughs> The way to do the uh, high low poly big is our professor kind of taught us, which he's a good professor, by the way, he's a really good professor, but um, he taught us to um, use 64 normal or X normal 64 bit, basically, because 64 bit computers supposed to have that. And X normal is like one of the best programs for getting you um, quick maps, along with also it can do high, uh, high low poly bigs too. It can do it fairly quickly also. So it's a good program and it's free. So, I went to go use the program the first time. And the first time I used it, the, the one that actually worked, because I tried it with all three of the high-low polybikes I had, only one sim worked, but it kept giving me a blank, um, kept giving me a blank uh, TGA file. So I'm like, why is it giving me a blank TGA file? I haven't done anything wrong. Talk to my professor about it after trying to troubleshoot it for my bio stuff for like an hour and a half. <clears throat> my professor is like you need to make your um <clears throat> so let me explain what a high low poly bike is in the first place and you'll understand what you're about to say high low poly bike is where you take a low poly object mm -hmm. actually let me first that so there's a better way to explain it you know in video games you see the characters like even this character you see how like detailed he is yeah and the girl too. yeah so that's a lot of polys like a high poly count extremely high so to do a, a high low poly bake is what you'll do is you'll make a low poly version that acts as a cage to the high poly version the low mm -hmm. poly version will be bigger than the high poly version and it'll encase it but because of the way a high poly low bakes works is it will take the textures from the low poly and make it look like it is or not, not but take it from the high poly and make the low, low poly look like the high poly for less poly count. yeah a lot of your games do that yeah so the thing is, that cage has to be perfect. How perfect oh. are we talking about here? You need to be pretty spot on. Oh. Like the curvatures and the the um faces and everything that have to actually match, just being a little bit bigger, but have to match what you're trying to um, poly big. And if it doesn't, you're gonna have a lot of fucking problems. That sounds like a tedious mess. You have no idea. 
So the first two problems I kept coming into is I apparently had ingongs on my low poly, and I didn't know that because I didn't realize when I extruded, I did it in an improper way, and it caused for a double face basically to happen, and that caused for external to be like, hey, we're not taking that. So I had to redo those two um, uh, polygon objects. Then for the other third one that was just not making anything, I had to reshape it to the first one, which took me about an hour to get it down perfectly to where I actually got a decent look. And I still had to fix that, so I had to go back and fix that for another 30 minutes, and then it looked alright. So that's what, roughly like 3-4 hours. So the other two hours were spent trying to do the other two right, get the other two down. And the corner ones, which is the one I had the most trouble with, because it was supposed to be a side that had corners to it. I couldn't do that because the way they connected the ridges that were holding it together, mm -hmm. um, quote unquote, were causing in gums. But the problem is they weren't actually causing in gums themselves. What I had to do, if I wanted to do this properly, was I would have to do a bullion to connect it all together and then use a high level polyvac from there and then be fine. The problem with doing the bullion is bullion can be slightly unpredictable. And the, in that area of me trying to do it, it would be completely unpredictable. Ergo causing another problem, and ergo probably making me lose even more time trying to fix everything. So while I'm hearing it, it's like, it took you a little while. <laughs> <laughs> it's just also, like, just like oh, no, 10 or 20 more minutes. Oh, no, it gets even better, too. I had about five minutes every time I had to go and get a file. Because for some reason, when I had to get a file mile to like mine to update into a texture or something like that, mm -hmm. it took it like five minutes to upload, not upload, but load the actual files that I could see. It why? took forever. I don't know why. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But it took it forever to see the files. It, so I'm it, sitting it, here trying to get the files to go on. That's why I, that's why I'm stressing I need a new computer. That's why I was fighting like my computer is pretty old. So I could five, six years old. I need a new one. That's the reason why. I knew I needed a new one. I, I, I knew it. <laughs> they didn't believe me. But after this whole shit show of stay, <laughs> I was justified with asking for the computer that I got. <laughs> yeah, like I can't imagine like what your computer would be like in like a year or two. If you like didn't try to update it or anything. Oh boy, that would be fun. But oh, it gets even better. Because guess what? Remember how I told you that I had five minute wait time? Because mm -hmm. after I finished the high low poly bakes, I had to do textures. You know what textures are? It's going to a file and uploading in Maya to that object. <laughs> it's about three files per object. Oh. So you're, you're just like waiting a lot, weren't you? Oh yeah. The last three hours of work that I was like, I don't know if I'm going to make it, it was waiting. <laughs> It was all waiting. That's the worst type of work, too. Like, you can't do anything to make it faster. No matter how skilled you are, you're just waiting. And I was just like, why? Just just, just why? <laughs> so at that point, when the guy looked like that, and for some reason, because I think it's, it's because I use a Lambert shader instead of using probably a Fong shader, but that doesn't make sense. Fong shader should have done the same thing. Actually, not Lambert. I used... A Fong shader instead of Lambert, but Lambert should have done, or Fong should have been able to do the same thing as Lambert, but whatever, for some reason, the shader I used was improper, so the corner one decided not to show any color. Even though I loaded, I loaded the color map, it wouldn't show any color. And I was like, okay, I give up. And I was like, I'm just posting this because we have to post it to our Discord. And I was like, posting to our Discord, and I'm done. I'm not doing anything else today. <laughs> I don't care if I get an F. I don't care. I do not care. <laughs> Like, I'm just done. Fuck it. The other thing, too, I was, I was going to work on alpha cards today because alpha cards are actually pretty easy to do, too. And that's what I was going to do to finish off a tree. Mm -hmm. Just didn't get. No. 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 Yeah. I know you were telling me that, uh, <laughs> you, like, uh, this voice will probably, like, be at 10. And, and I'll just, like, wait till then. Like, okay, cool. Oh, uh, that was what five hours ago? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was my fun experience of my and honestly right now, technically it's midnight and I'm just like I need to do something to relax. If I try to go sleep like this, I'm gonna lose my insanity in the morning. I promise you I will lose my sanity in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, that reminds me, I just predict I get my college books. Hey, you're starting up school soon, aren't you? 
Yep. Uh, I'll be starting with school. I gotta get my books. Got get my schedule because I woke up at 3 p.m. Nice. And my classes, uh, all start like around 10:30 ish. You better start training your body soon. <laughs> I'll just take some sleeping pills. That also right. works too. Yeah, I think tomorrow around like dinner time, I take some, I'll take some sleeping pills like two, and I'll just pass out. And hopefully wake up before noon. <laughs> oh crap, I just realized I have not done a all recap. So let me do this recap real quick. So I have not done it because I'm so disarray. Um, main character lost his body because he was a dumbass and tried to go get Digimon and just not smart about anything he did. So um, this thing called an eater tried to basically take his body from him, but he somehow was able to log out. When he logged out, he became basically datified, but not. So he had a physical but data body at the exact same time. A paradox in itself and so after kyoko basically finds him uh he basically works with her to go and get uh his piece of his body's back and then now decides it's going to work for her and hopes of trying to actually get his body to wake up because he also realized that he is in under eating syndrome which is basically when the conscious doesn't return from when they lock out of eating there's a quick rundown Wait. What's up? Ask questions because I know the shit is confusing. <laughs> can he take over computers? Like, if he puts his finger into a USB drive, can he put, uh, can he like take over a computer or like look at data inside of it? No. What he can do is he can jump into the computer. Oh, I'll be like sarcastic. I didn't know that was an actual thing. <laughs> no, this, it's actually in this game. He can jump into computers to get into Eden. Like, you'll probably see me do it in like a minute or two. But um, he can jump into computers, he can eat it. This is one of the few times you'll ever see the um, menu. I'm trying to cut a lot of that out because it's kind of pointless. But I just wanted to show it at least once so you can see it. But basically, you get messages, you can reply to them, they'll say something stupid back. Also, you actually have a mother in this game, which is kind of interesting. You don't ever get to see her, though, but <laughs> she does exist. <laughs> she, like, texts you throughout the game. So it's my own nice. mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's weird she actually does exist in the game i didn't expect anyone to do because you use a pokemon it's just like your mother's like there for one second for one message and then they're gone <laughs> yeah like in pokemon like uh they're always like at the house or something and then just yeah i i think the dad is usually gone the most though especially oh at least the two or three gens i played no you're not wrong uh the only dude i think that actually changed that was um Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire, because Norman was your dad, and he was a gym leader. Yeah, you're the normal gym leader. Yeah, so you had to actually fight him. So it wasn't that they changed it. But yeah, did you just see how he jumped on the TV? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. basically what he does, yeah. So. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm still here. Just not saying uh, anything. <laughs> I figured as much. <laughs> no, it's, I have a new period how like restart or something. <laughs> So what what has been your troubles with computers? So let's hear you. just rant. This is a rant episode, so just rant, just rant. Okay, so I, I've always had this issue with this computer where if I'm running any program, whatever, and I unplug any USB device or any device that is like, hey, you need this, and again, being everything I made as default to work with it, it decides it wants to forget how to connect stuff. And usually I can just turn off the program and turn it back on. But if a program has been running longer than 12 hours, it forgets how to work. What? So, like... Uh, no, I, I heard you. I'm just trying to figure out how does that work. I, I don't know. Goose was streaming. It was like, hey, everybody, you know, you can go ahead and uh like stream, like go on his stream. And he had about 20 people watching him. And by the time I'd logged back on, it was only like five because of how bad the computer was working. So I've learned to, if I'm going to stream, restart everything, plug everything in, and then click record. Like plug everything in before I start stream labs. On top of the fact that my internet service provider, they want to be like, oh, yeah, we need to do an update right now at 12. They couldn't do it like at three o'clock in the morning when I was using the computer. 
but it is what it is. Yeah, you yeah. feel like by now more, more people realize like midnight is still like when people use computers or game or stuff like that. This is why I'm happy I have a uh, mobile hotspot. So I'm using yeah, one of my phones as hotspot. Wait, is that what you're on right now? The hotspot? Yeah. I'm surprised it's not cutting out to be honest with you. I don't use this one that often. Ah, okay. Yeah, I only use it like if I'm traveling and I'm using a laptop, then I'll do it. But I haven't had a chance to do it since most time I'm at the house. I use my main data for like my phone or whatever when I'm out and about. But like one of my phones, like I rarely have to use the hotspot for it. I have it on there. It's just I rarely have to use it. So like in cases like this, but even then, like the only thing I use it for is this laptop. So the data that I have, it doesn't just die. It lasts a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, like my plan, they uh, canceled the hotspot thing. It's no longer added to our plan, so I can't use one. Who you got? Uh, AT&T, I believe. See, this is why I have Verizon. Yeah, you know, oh, is that like we just like changed plans? They didn't like take it, take it. Uh, uh, oh. it's just me, and my mom on the plan now. You actually might want to change to Verizon though, or even um, T-Mobile for that matter, because they give uh veteran discounts slash military discounts too. I, cool. I say a lot of work, and I don't, I don't pay it, so I don't care. Fair enough. Like my mom pays it. Like okay. Fair enough. Because I pay for internet. Fair enough, yeah. Yeah, you can't technically save money with your government. As we are not giving them any type of ad, I'm just stating a fact. Yeah. <laughs> not Brought to sponsored. you by Ray Shadow Legends. <laughs> Download and play for free. <laughs> uh, Mo keeps like referencing that. Yeah, you know, keeps like saying, no, we're not sponsored. Like, do, I do you know not... that people weren't getting paid for that? Wait, what's up? Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go. Uh, he yeah, was go. stopping to hear what you said because he was interesting. Oh, I was saying that a lot of people who were, a lot of people who were doing sponsors by them. Sorry, my hand was on the mouse. Um, were not getting paid by them. Like right now, I can go to Twitch and like sign up to do it, but a lot of people aren't getting paid by them anymore. Why? I don't know. That doesn't surprise me. You either probably have to have like a high enough um, subscriber count for them to either want to pay you, or two, it's just that they are not getting enough revenue or ad uh, people playing it to get them to um, sign off on people. If that makes any sense. It's not the same thing as like if it was like something like Fire Emblem Heroes, for example, and you were uh, given the ability to give an ad for them, you'd get paid by Nintendo no matter what. Because Fire Emblem Heroes was like grossing extremely well and it's getting even better and better. I'm a Fire Emblem Heroes nerd, bro. <laughs> but um, I think Raid is actually doing worse. Here, give actually, me one second, I'll be right back. I think Raid's doing actually really bad now that I think about it, because I know Fire Emblem Heroes actually topped the charts not too long ago. Yeah, I think Raid is collapsing, because it wasn't like a free to play game, but it's been going on for like so long that people just don't care about it. It became like basically a meme at this point. I mean, it definitely is, but even then, it's just, I think the main biggest point was there was no story to it. I haven't even was... downloaded it, so I don't know anything about the story. I haven't either. That was like the biggest complaint I heard from a lot of different people that like refused to do um, ads for them because they just didn't have a story. The game didn't have any story. There was like nothing wrong there. You were just basically clicking to be stupid, yeah. basically. So some games are are good without story. For example, Seven Days to Die. I play it a lot. Uh, I have just shot like thirteen hundred. Anyways, the like next to no story, but I love playing the game. Like it's amazing. However, if Raid, Raid doesn't have a story and it's as garbage as I hear, I don't want to touch it. 
That's what I'm saying. Is some games like you, you actually hit on the you hit it on the uh, nail because you, you know, the example that too would be like Minecraft. A lot of people like playing a game like I don't, but a lot of people do like playing the game. It doesn't really have much of a story at all. If not, you have to really search for it. Even some of the Souls games too, they don't have really much of a story. You have to really, really search for it. It's more just about playing and having fun. But the problem is, it's games to all play. It's not something you just have fun for. And if it doesn't have a the story, then it has nothing. For other heroes, it's fun where people like tactical uh, strategy, but it actually does have a story that goes along with it. So people it keeps the people even more intertwined and enjoyed. So, yeah. uh, I do disagree with what you said about Souls game because I think. Uh, most, if not all of them, have stories. Uh, they aren't as like in your face as like Skyrim or something like that, but they do have stories. But, That's yeah. true, but, but my whole definition is you have to search to find it. It's yeah. not. It's not like it comes to you. You have to search to find. Let's see, is like I was able to compare it to Minecraft. Minecraft has a story. You have to search for it also. Yeah. So that's what I was like saying. I'm not saying it didn't like, have one at all. It's just you have to search. For it. And that's where I feel like. That's why I put it in the same because people don't usually play for the most story. They play more for just the gameplay of trying to torture themselves and kill everything in front of them. Hey, I'm like four <laughs> bosses away from being the game. Okay, I'm no like legit. Like three days ago, I broke my controller. Yeah, you're telling me about that. Yeah, I'm taking a break, probably due to like I have anger issues. I need to stay away from that game for a little bit, and probably because I need a new controller. <laughs> No, I definitely understand. That's usually the reason why I usually play games like this, where it's like either strategy based or tactical based, where I can just chill and enjoy. Don't get me wrong; these games piss me off sometimes too. I've had so many horror stories with like um, Final Fantasy Tactics, where I just got crit after crit after crit after crit after crit after crit and just died. It's just like, wow, <laughs> great gameplay. <laughs> oh, shouldn't there be like a software like you can't kill like four or five times in a row? I feel like that should be like a uh, in-game rule or mechanic. You think it should, that... but it's not. <laughs> but um, so far in this game, I think I actually no, this game I've never lost once. It was Hacker's Memory. I like got murdered in one episode, and <laughs> I was like, "Wow, <laughs> damn." <laughs> that was only because I didn't prepare properly, like I should have. Because <laughs> you're gonna see in this game, I kind of got my hand held because the deal, uh, the DLC that was given to me allowed me to use some of the uh, uh Digimon that were still level one, but it basically gave me a full on team. They're still level one, but it still was a full on team I could use. Yeah. I mean, it better have that slot filled and nothing there at all. Yeah. So in Hacker's Memory, because I connected the two games, I didn't realize I shouldn't have connected it, but I connected the two games. <laughs> it was like, yeah, you got the DLC in the other one. You're not getting in this one. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> so I had like one Digimon for like the longest time. I was like, I need to get other Digimon. Because this game, like, the problem is with uh, Hacker's Memory, it's like it pushes the story on you a lot harder. So you move even through the story a lot faster. It doesn't really give you time to like actually train. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, I'm ready to lie. We're just a big dude in a hurry. <laughs> Speaking of which, I think I've said this before with Yuko is my. I think I said she was my fourth or fifth favorite character. Uh, is it Miko or Yuko? Yuko, Yuko yeah. 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 Uh, Kyoko is definitely my second. My favorite character of all time has not appeared yet in any of the episodes. And when that person does, I will show you them. And I'll point them out. But they're my favorite character because they're they're such a well-written character. It's such a well-written character. He's a psychopath though, but it's such a well-written character. <laughs> hey, hey, I cannot blame you because like I, so I'm have I read manga, right? And yeah. like I categorize it. And one of my categories is villain main character. And there's like 30 uh, manga there of just people being absolute dicks. I mean, like, is this a you just do it right though? That's that's where it's amazing. Yeah. People don't realize, like, some people, I use, um, uh, Best in the Steven Universe. They had some great villains in the episode, or not in the show, starting all, but then they try to sympathize and I'm like, nah, don't do that. If they're a villain, make them a villain. Make them go all the way, make them go crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And it's like it's like that's like it's fun then it's not just in Steven Universe Universe is the only thing that came to mind. There's a lot of different fucking shows and animes and even movies that do that shit too, where they're like have a villain and they try to make him sympathetic and it's like don't make him sympathetic. If you want to, if you want people to sympathize with him, 
don't need to make him sympathetic. You just need to show something that proves that he once was something else and then something broke him and he just went batshit crazy. Make sure the thing that broke him is something that people can sympathize with. But you yeah. don't make the character actually sympathetic. There's a difference. Yeah, uh, I think Fairy Tail does that a lot, like too much. Like each villain that they have becomes a member of the guild later on. Like even someone who like uh, tied up the characters on like a cross or whatever and like tortured and beat people up is now a member of the guild like a week later. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. Yeah. <laughs> and I actually like that anime for a bit and I know that's true. It's like, yes, it doesn't happen, dude. Yeah, it's one thing, like, I like the concept of it, but that ongoing thing of it doing so constant, like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> like, I know that they want to, like, escalate it to make it, like, worse and all that, but, like, you don't have to have, like, every single villain become a member of your party or whatever. You already have a lot of people in the guild, it's fine. I mean, I think the whole thing was just, uh, it was friendship. It was their whole, like, type of thing behind the story arc, and, like, the main theme, I guess, he was going for, or the writer was going for. But I feel like you can still do that and do it properly without having that. Because, like, you look at uh, My Hero Academia, and I'm not trying to just say stream, uh, mainstream, but My Hero Academia does that pretty well, where it has a lot of uh, characters that are classmates that are slowly becoming friends, and friendship usually quote unquote ones at the end. But there's sometimes some of the uh, later scenes, which I'm not going to go into spoiler territory for you, but I will say there's some time for people basically get fucked over hard but oh, yeah. you still have that sense of like i still got your back i still have this that you still have that sense of friendship still there yeah like uh i uh, i need to catch up on my hero i'm like so oh funny. man that that latest chapter oh <laughs> <laughs> i, I, I am you need, you need to look at it <laughs> i am probably I, I too much. Like, okay so the last thing i remember is not the tournament, but the uh, tournament style thing after, where like everyone was ganging up on the people from My Hero. I remember that and a few other things after, but not too much. I am so far behind. Uh, I think it's like around the part where it's the uh, Hilo go, just before then. Yeah, you, you're missing a lot. Like, these uh, last, like, 50 chapters have been crazy. <laughs> yeah, I need to, like, catch up. Yes. But I'm reading so much. I have so much to do. That's, that's my whole thing. Like, I try to limit what I read. <laughs> like, I I have to limit what I read. Because by, by a certain I'll never finish anything. Well, so thing, I, I have, like, 400 games on my Steam. 400 more on my wish list. About 200 uh, manga on my phone. I have streaming and editing that I haven't done in a while. And then I have uh, getting into good school. I yes, have a lot. Uh, no, I, I completely understand. So that's why I, um, for me, for, uh, when it comes to that, it's like I try to do one to two or maximum three games at a time. So I can yeah. recycle through them. And that's how I was able to finish both um, Survive I haven't finished Bob yet. I'm still getting closer to it, though. But um, I just finished uh, Hacker's Memory, Cyber Sleuth. And also, I technically, I finished uh, Call of Duty Randomizer. I need to get back to playing some more uh, Breath of Fire and, um, what's it called? Uh, Persona. Because I just haven't touched those in a while. So I need to get back to playing that. And so we can stream it again. So we all three of us can get back to doing some uh, voiceovers and that. But for right now, that's on. I put that on hiatus right now. Until all we get, we're all back to up, up and running together again. Yeah, we need. I need to get mole back here because I haven't like we haven't like streamed or anything in like a month and a half, two months. I feel like it's been a while. But that's the thing, though. I need to actually start also selling myself. I guess in a sense, like actually putting out my channel. In a sense, I mean, you have more subs than I do. I have four, and I know all of them. So. Actually, that was the thing though. Some uh, dude, like I think, watched some of my uh, call scene stuff, and he just subbed to me afterwards. Like he was talking to me about um, it was on my um, I think it was the pirate. No, it was the under. I think it was the under. It was either pirate or under one of the two of them. But there was like the spindle. I was I was fighting with the salamance. And the spindle just kept getting stupidly lucky. <laughs> I almost lost that thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, um, some some of these like chances on like some of the battles is stupidly just it's complete bullshit. 
like there's just sometimes that's why i like when i did the like i was talking when we did the recording for the um Oregon coliseum um video and we were talking about using me using shininja I, I mean don't get me wrong i was like it's still cheap but i'm like i don't feel bad because like some stuff they pull in this game is just complete bull bs <laughs> so sometimes i don't uh i don't like doing seeing things cheap but sometimes it is a zone. sometimes that's the only way i just don't kill anymore <laughs> Uh, I, I, I agree. I, I completely agree. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's stupid. Now I'm, I'm just laughing. I'm laughing my ass off it because it's just like I just. <laughs> I, uh, let me say this. So I want them to bring back like the costumes that they had in uh, um, Pokemon uh, Thousand Pokemon XD, which I will be doing the XD uh, Coliseum. I probably won't be doing it until I go on break. I have to actually beat the game, and I just don't feel like doing that right now. I don't have time to. So, but when I call break, I'll speed through that game real quick, and then I'll do the uh, call for that. But uh, I want those bring back into like the newer games, where it's like the actual call scene tournaments like that. So that's that. That was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to do it, especially with the right team set up. But then you do like these. They have like these battle frontier stuff. The battle frontier is like just ongoing challenges to keep going on and on and on. And they just strip sheet the computer. Like computer will like get like five freezing roach because the computer can't. Just like why, why? And sometimes the computer just makes teams to combat yours. <laughs> it's like, again, why? <laughs> Dang, they just don't like you. That's how it is. But um, but that's why I like the original like Coliseum games because they had like the Battle Tower, which I've actually never finished. Which I know need to do though. Which I think I'm gonna still do that for the um Coliseum save battle half. I think I'm gonna do the Battle Tower. I'm gonna do with the other. I'm gonna do the full on Battle of the Tower. <laughs> Because they do actually go into legendaries again too on there, so that'll probably also be during the break. I still have to upload the videos of me getting murdered alive in the Coliseum because there's like a few love battles I lost. I need you gonna like put in a death montage? I'm just gonna put the full battles up there. Ah, okay. So, uh, I do wish in like Pokemon games where like the more you like defeat your rivals, like the more they change their team to counter yours. Uh, I wish that was more of a thing. I mean that would be interesting, but also I think they just need to make either uh, better they have better AI and better teams because you think about the like original games like uh, Red and Blue and even Crystal and even all uh, not Crystal because I'm hard to say not that well, actually no Crystal did have someone who wasn't a rival that was hard that was Red but Silver himself was a rival he wasn't that terribly hard he was annoying the first two battles the first two battles of Silver is extremely annoying because he um. Uh, not for sure, it's like the second and third battle you did with him that were annoying because he kind of catches you off guard. Um, and then you have Emerald with May being that one route everyone hates her there. I think it's like Route 13, you, that was like a death sentence there, especially if you like chose the wrong star, she was just gonna murder you alive. Yeah, um, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> um, after that they started like making them easier even barry like barry didn't even get hard and diamond and pearl platinum until like after like in game and you had like actually and it, up top like late in game that's when he actually became hard um yeah after that no one really got hard i think it's just because they're trying to make it easier for you but i feel like they should and this is what they did in black and white too and they need to have like that hard mode added back where you can just choose to make it harder and they'll like they'll have actual competitive teams and actual yeah uh, like like a like difficulty scaling, yeah. Like between like one to five or something like that, or make it more dynamic. Or like, okay, if you're doing bad, it'll be go easier on you. But if you're doing really well, then well, you're gonna get a lot harder. Yeah, it's just all honestly, it all just depends. Because like I said, some characters are hard when they shouldn't be hard. Like for an example, Whitney was probably one of those characters that was never really meant to be hard, but she just decided to have milk tank that would just not die. Yep. <sighs> Uh, the rollout of like all rollouts. It was that a track rollout that milk drink. That milk drink just went. If, if she didn't have milk drink, we'd be fine because she had the milk drink. <laughs> yeah, the fact that she could heal herself like over time while <laughs> your entire Pokemon just being demolished. Also, you're not gonna like this when I tell you this, but you remember the uh, recording we did for the Pokemon Crystal run? Uh, randomized run? Is it like no longer existing? Yes, and not because of what you think. 
So it recorded fine, but the problem is what it was recording. The uh, software decided to record Discord and not show the actual gameplay at all. <laughs> so I didn't have the recording for the gameplay. <laughs> what the fuck? Yep. <laughs> Which is interesting because it's supposed to be a game recorder. It was supposed to record the game, but it should have just recorded Discord only. I was like, wow. <laughs> Did it count Discord at the game? Apparently. I, I know, I know, but... I know that uh, Streamlabs, uh, so I downloaded a mod launcher for Seven Days to Die. Okay. Uh, and uh, you have to have it like on the background while you play it. That way you can keep the mods and make sure they don't break. Uh, Oh, according to Streamlabs, it thought the mod launcher was a game and not Seven Days to Die. So for like 45 minutes, I was streaming the mod launcher window and not my outro game. It could still heal me. Just couldn't see what I was doing. So by the time I got everything done, I died twice, lost half my stuff, and I was very angry. Yeah, so... My whole goal, gameplay right now is just to get the uh, current computer I have right now or the new one I have fixed. And then once I do the switch, it's probably when I'll try doing Streamlabs again, which should be, shouldn't be too much of a big deal to do it again. It should work from there. Yeah. I'll be good to go. Uh, uh, do you recommend checking out the uh, audio filters uh, you can have? Because I have some on mine and it makes, it, it makes a pretty decent difference. I definitely will. I'm not too worried because, like I said, I used to do the editing. Premiere and Premiere can uh, yeah. do a lot of good work. Now I'm actually starting to learn how to use Premiere. That's why all the videos seem to slowly, slowly get better over time. That's why. <laughs> if anyone was wondering, that is why the videos are slowly getting better. <laughs> hey, you're making a lot more progress than like someone like me would. As I'm like extremely lazy. Yeah, but back to like uh, getting myself out there. Like I need to start actually like putting myself out there, but I'm like too like a weird out and slightly afraid to. I'm just like, I don't want to just post like in some random ass location. Be like, hey. <laughs> I tried to actually make a short the other day, but for some reason it wouldn't allow it as a short. Uh, do, do you want like my mediocre advice or nah? If you want to. Uh, if you interact with other creators, it'll help you out a lot. Uh, I've been chatting with uh, a guy named Madrybit a lot more. Uh, I've been following him for like years, I think. But I actually start like talking to him, interacting with him, stuff like that. And like he recommended people to my uh Twitch channel a lot. I got whole like three new followers. Woo. What I'm probably gonna end up doing is um is um I get that thing. Oh um so I'm starting to draw more do 3d more so so i think i'm gonna start making like a twitter and instagram just to throw stuff up there and then have my youtube like in my channel thing and so people can join from there yeah i know uh random question that i completely forgot about uh how's my character going along <laughs> <laughs> i completely forgot about <laughs> i've been wrapped up with 3d i completely forgot about everything <laughs> oh it's all good i forgot too <laughs> But actually, don't feel bad, though. I actually bought some new art supplies that I'm trying to test out right now, um, which is uh, markers and a paint pens. So I'll be playing around with those for a bit. Dude, like, honestly, I forgot about it. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm going to make it work. I'm going to do it. I thought you were dead for a second, Dig. I don't know why. You keep like, joining in. I literally keep thinking I got that. hungry. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, you have the old man said as like he can hear a cat all the time he's falling asleep. Like no shade at you. I'm not throwing shade, I'm just saying. <laughs> like you could be asleep or you're gone or you just have to take a walk and just let your like <laughs> just let your computer up. We don't know, it's just you just ghost. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not throwing shade at you, like I understand. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm always listening. That's a lie, but okay. <laughs> I would say, like, that's a doubt. <laughs> so, after seeing uh, how much you have seen, do you have any questions, Mage, or no? Uh, no question. I just, like, I thought it would be more similar to Pokemon where you fight uh, one at a time. But it seemed to be more like uh, Persona, the other Persona games. Or SMT. I have no idea what that is. Not turn. He hasn't experienced SMT yet. 
That's also got a reason why I want to do a Nocturne run, just to show him SMT. But if I do it, I might just, what I might end up doing is just recording like a lot of the boss battles like, that I do. Just do a new game plus run with a lot of the boss battles at the Jack Bros, take everyone out. I didn't get Mole to play Dark Souls 3 with me. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to, he's not going to join. <laughs> also, so, uh... Oh, like wait, said, real, real quick disclaimer. Terry Ivan is the cutest. Now you can continue. Okay, I don't know who that is, but okay. The uh, one that's following you right now, with the green little uh, ears. Oh, yes, yes. I want one. <laughs> Uh, disclaimer two, uh, Terramon is cute, but Renamon's better. <laughs> Your furry side is showing, asshole. <laughs> don't don't look at anything up. Just said, do not. I'm talking to you, bitch, and also the viewers. Do not look at anything up. Just don't, 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 don't. <laughs> I am okay, warning you now. I'm going to take your word for it and not <laughs> not look up anything he just said. <laughs> I, I just want to say for the record, uh. Things that popped up for Terriermon were a lot different than what popped up for Renamon. It took you a while to find that stuff for Terriermon. It was like front I, center for Renamon. Wait, you guys were <laughs> looking for it? No. So, so. no. What? You gotta, you gotta, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to watch the Digimon Survivor that I put up. But basically, I'll give you a quick rundown while we were talking about which one were cuter and uh, textbook was with us. And textbook was just going through pictures of Terry Bond to find something that was cute of him. <laughs> and then he happened to go into a uh, not safe for work photo. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but you could search the other one and you would find not safe for work photos in like five seconds. <laughs> for the record, for how much he scrolled, for how much I scrolled, there were there were a lot of different mashups of like Renamon mixed with uh, a couple like different Pokemons, um, a lot of uh, shipping, if you will. <laughs> the interesting type of shipping. Don't just don't question it, Mitch. <laughs> just cute shipping, like yeah. uh, I almost forgot their name. Goodness. I don't think it matters. I, I feel like I know where it's already going. <laughs> but it was it was still innocent. That picture of Carrier Mom that we saw was not innocent in the slightest. Again, he had to scroll for it. It wasn't just something that popped up. <laughs> but I would I would have never expected to see Terry Mon in that position. Literally in that position. No one would have. <laughs> Unless you're in the dark side of the web, but no one would have. I forgot what I was like talking about before we are moving on to the tangent. You should you should just search ter cute Terriamon photos on Google. No, no. If you want to understand what we were talking about, just go watch the Digimon Survive video. It will yeah. No, one no, of no, us like, explains it clearly. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say something, then you guys had like two disclaimers, and then I don't. So then guys were like, I have no idea what I was going to say anymore. <laughs> uh, I'll say it like this disclaimer don't look up cute Terriermon and scroll for like a minute and a half, two minutes. Don't tell me what to do. Give me a sec. <laughs> <sighs> On plus side, I'm the only one who looks at my computer. You might. It's not you know the what? problem. <laughs> you know what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about you do, it. You do you. You do you. <laughs> I thought I took out the messages, but if I didn't take out the messages, then you get to see this. But next episode, I definitely will take the messages. It just takes way too much time. I'm going to start taking most of them. I think I took them out more in the second half. But, you know, so the first half you get to see most of the messages and see, like, me do some uh, menuing stuff, but. Yeah. And these are, like, all innocent so far. On show more results. Did you click just Terriamon or cute Terriamon? Cute Terriamon. Like, literally, I just go down to, like, we'll say this is the end. I didn't find anything. Uh, the closest thing I, I found was like, 
they made uh, Teoyamon into a like ha like a middle school girl or a middle school girl. That's an interesting choice. <laughs> yeah, so it was uh, a Teoyo and Pikachu, which is just not not. It is safe for work. There we go. That's the word. Now I have a question: Is your safe search on moderate or off? It should be off. I don't usually use it. For, hang on, let me check. No, it's off. I don't have safe search. I'm a man. I told you he was scrolling down for a bit. It wasn't that quick. It was a pretty big scroll. I don't it know. It didn't take me long to find it. Well, I wonder what that says about your search and <laughs> history. I mean, that is a fair point. <laughs> you give me a picture and stuff about uh, what you look up. So. That tells me a lot about you. <laughs> oh, they have like oh, that's some, somebody else. It was Pikachu like in a, a Terrier Mon outfit. It was cute. I'm yeah, hoping to Digimon ads now. You are. That's fine. I'm trying to see what did he search. Are you sure he didn't look up like sexy Terrier Mon? Because I, I feel like know. that would like be to a set you're looking for. No, because even so, even some of the photos that he sent, like you remember when Terrymon, uh, in the show, was acting like a doll, and no, I've being model fed. Digimon. You say you don't watch? I, I never seen Digimon before in my life. Yeah. Yeah, he hasn't seen Digimon before. I know that they. I know that they are like digital monsters, and I know that they have weird transformations, and that is all I know. I I, I see one. I see it, one like that's like an anime go with between overalls. So that's about that's about it. He typed in. No, he just typed in Terrier Mon. I told you, you had to scroll for quite a bit. It was on the thing that was like front page, center to find it. Which I don't know why I'm trying to search for the same home. <laughs> yeah, just type in Terrier Mon. Uh, I already did. And I don't, and they actually, they could have taken it down together, right? That's yeah. also a possibility. That's also a possibility. That's true. I could also just be blind. Oh no, you would have saw it. <laughs> I mean, I see some Nazis work for like uh, the Digimon, but they're not Terriermon, so I'm not curious about them. Well, you should be. <laughs> yeah. I still don't know how text we find the found that. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> So Textor was the one who found this image of Terry on an accident, but like he was just searching for a cute picture of Terry on it. Is the whole thing is simulated because you're having an argument which Digimon's the cutest. So I was arguing that Terry Mon's the cutest. And uh, he happened to search it, and then while he was looking, he uh, stumbled upon something that <laughs> he was not supposed to. <laughs> Yeah, I can't find it, so it'll forever remain a mystery. Oh, no, I'll add you to the channel. One second. <laughs> Are you going to, like, send it to me? I don't know if I want to. I don't want it on my phone. <laughs> that, that's fresh. Uh, was that Pinterest? No, that was new grounds. New grounds. Been to new grounds forever. Yeah. I don't see you there. Do you recognize that Digimon? I I do. That's the one I was talking about. Wait, wait, wait was that you even recorded? I don't think it was. No. So wait, wait, hold on. I, now I'm even more confused. What? All right. You said the blue one. Is the Digimon you recognize? 
No, I said the, it was an orange one. It was like part dinosaur with like blue stripes or something like that. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's great, man. That's not that's not the red one. They, it looks similar enough. Okay. <laughs> Can you see why I was not good at my job? It's just good enough, and that's good enough. <laughs> Did you add him yet, Dank, or do you need me to do it? Uh... I don't want this messing up. So I'll take care of it. Okay. You know what? Go go to Google and type in Terriamon Newgrounds. <laughs> sure, you know what? Fuck it. What, did you find it that way? Yeah, so I looked at like the link up below it. <laughs> Again, kids, RP watches. Do not look this up, please. For the love of God, do not look this up. It's just, it's just a, it's just a reminder. <laughs> That's conversation. I can't let it. Go. All right, I think. Let me see which channel we're on this one. Yeah. <laughs> See weird ones, but not uh, not not safe for work. So either like our definitions are different, or hold on, hold, hold on because they I'm gonna show you what to look for. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. At this point, you might as well just download it, send it to them, then delete it off your phone. Yeah, <laughs> no, because only three five evident. pictures. So like. I just sent it to you. All right, cool. This makes my life a lot easier. Uh, you might want to delete that as soon as you see <laughs> no, so They end up censoring it. Still delete it. <laughs> so when you find that photo, click the link to go to new grounds. Uh, did you send me a direct message or what was this? It, it's in the manga. I'm, I'm oh, already anime. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I cannot do this. <laughs> you put it in the uh, manga anime recommendation. Yeah, That's I see it. <laughs> I thought your battery's almost dead. Eh, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Did you click the new ground link or the picture I sent you? The picture you sent? No, he said click the link, not the picture. Click the link. Uh, I don't, uh, don't want to put that in the link. Go, go back to the new ground. <laughs> Carry him on new ground. <laughs> and look uh, for that photo. It's going to be half the video. I'm just going to like... Hang on, Jack. Right, you know what now? I will destroy the sanctity of my phone. I will do this. I, I got I got it. I got it. I got it. Give me a second. So are you going to send it straight to him? Or do you need me to... Just send I, it straight to I'm going to copy the link. deal. I'm just no Hold stop. On. I got this. I got this. Oh, I, I see one. Okay. You see it? I see you one. I don't know if that's the one you're looking for. Just describe his positioning. Standing up. No. All right, cool. I, I figured that would be a make or break. <laughs> There you go. I sent it to you. I sent it to you direct message. Yep. I am so happy I did not post that link in the manga thing because oh, okay. uh, Mole would have been like, the f what? <laughs> Mole would have murdered you. Mole would have murdered you. Uh, see, I'm the admin. I could have just deleted it. You would never have known. <laughs> Did you click the link yet? I did. <laughs> that is actually not safe for work, and that's. <laughs> I did not see it in all my searches. They they censored it because how textbook found it. Like I found it, like textbook found it. Like I saw that on the Google search history. <laughs> I think that just. Say something about like your search history more than because I had to look hard for it. Okay, they they changed it. 
They changed it, okay? Sure. Well, go they with that. We will <laughs> pretend it is Google's fault and not your search histories. Hey, hey. <laughs> it is Google. Sure. Hey, Google. What time is it? a.m. All right. My internet's back on. Nice. <clears throat> so, from this esca escapade of us just going completely derailed from where we were at beforehand, um... <laughs> it's like, what, 20 minutes of just talking? We took you for one Digimon? <laughs> this is why Rainamon is better. <laughs> Again, you're you, can find, you can find the not safe for work images better. You're not helping your case about the search history, dude. <laughs> Aside from all of this, let's get back to the uh, story at hand. Um, right now, they're talking with the um, the father of quote unquote Yuko, and they're now finding out that they have no idea, or the father saying that he has no idea who Yuko is. So, did he delete himself? You'll find out in a little bit. I'll talk about all that, to be honest with you. <laughs> so, are you going to like, put the video of the uh, picture up on, on your YouTube channel for context? No, no, no. That's all this. We are mild family friendly, <laughs> meaning you have to be <laughs> above 20, but we're not going to put in, uh, Nazi forward stuff on here. <laughs> I, I mean, it does go directly against uh, a TOS, so yeah. Oh, uh, that young girl has some interesting idol animations. Which one? Uh, the one on the right. Chica, I think. Oh. She's just a generic character. Yeah, I kind of figured. Yeah. Alright, so what's a game that you loved when you first got it but you hate now? When I first got it, I loved it, but I hate it now. Yes. I can't really think of one, because now it's usually with the game, it's something like that. It's normally, like, there's a certain part of it I just straight up hate. <laughs> right, should I tell yeah. you mine? Yeah. Uh, mine is actually Skyrim. Why Skyrim? That's an interesting choice. Alright, so, uh, a lot of the combat, like, uh, a lot of the combat, well, you start out overpowered anyways. Uh, you have 100 health, magic, and stamina. Uh, the average bandit has, I think, 40, 20, and then 30, or something like that. So you're already, like, two to three times stronger than an average enemy. Uh, okay. the combat isn't very engaging, just, like, pull the triggers. You don't have to like think blocking too much because you can take a hit anyways. Mm -hmm. Uh the magic is extremely dull in my opinion. Like a lot of spells don't interact with each other, or they don't enhance each other, or anything like that. The storyline is okay. Well, the main storyline is okay. The guild lines, a lot of them are better, but like the card of windhold sucks for me. And, lo and then the open world, like, in the town stuff, you have like, a lot of stuff to do, but it just seems like the actual Skyrim itself was pretty empty, in my opinion. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. I'm still trying to think of a game, right? Because I played it quite a few games, I don't necessarily hate any of them. Um, uh, well, I think hate is a strong word. I dislike Skyrim. Okay. Don't get me wrong, I'm still looking forward to uh, Elder Scrolls 6. But like, I I'm not going to be playing Skyrim again. I I uninstalled it, I won't be playing it. No, that's fair enough. Um, 
Skyrim is like Call of Duty to me. You have Call of Duty? No, I said Skyrim is like Call of Duty. Like, it's a really mainstream game. And sometimes it can feel like it can be overplayed. Yeah. Like, for me, it's... um. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force 5 is the one that's like coming to mind for me, but I still don't necessarily hate it. Oh yeah, the glitch that happened right there is not a glitch. I just I'm cutting out the um uh mini week stuff. I just for some reason only did in the second half of the video. I thought I did in the first half, but apparently did not. So second half of the video it's not. Um but back to what I was saying. So Tag Force 5, the reason why I hate it is because sometimes these characters in this game, if you watch gameplay but two, they will literally just have every four they need to counter in their hand or they will just draw it like it's like their next draw like no tomorrow. And then on top of that you have the destiny draw which is such a Bullshit fucking draw. Such bullshit. What does it do? Basically, beforehand, you're able to, like, set a card in your deck that makes becomes your destiny card. So you can do it, too, but you can only do it if you're, like, at a seriously low each, uh, like, win level to the opponent. And when you do it... I, uh, I forgot. That's good to everybody. Anyway, but when you do it, um, it allows you to draw a, a set card that you chose ahead of time deck well the computers can do it too but sometimes their card can either be like a card that actually helps them they like do this long combo and then they basically turn the entire game around and just into your into your ass that exact turn or they just get every trap for the ever need in their life and they just play down and destroy your entire field then turn the game around and into you again it's it's, it's hella annoying like a pain that honestly but i still love playing because i love playing the old UK games so it's yeah. like one of those things like i I just, I just hate it when that happens, but I don't hate yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I like... Actually, no, no, there is one game. I just remembered it. And it actually, it's, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh game, too. So, when I was a kid, I got this Yu-Gi-Oh game. It was a double pack. It was Refresh, uh, Refresh of Destruction and then the Eternal Battle City Tournament. Eternal Battle City Tournament was fine. I love that. I played it over multiple times. I love playing that game. So, because I loved it so much, I, loved, I thought I would like both games, so I tried to play the second one. Refresh and Destruction was such bullshit, it was not even funny. Because, one, you didn't gain levels that easily, and two, to even start competing with some like the mid-game bosses and <clears throat> soon-to-be late-game bosses, you had to have a dual score, dual score that was like well in the 800s. And I'm saying that only because, I kid you not, every single one of them had like four-star cards that had like at least 1,600 1, to like 2,000 attack power. And to put one of those in your deck, just one of them costs like 300 points. And your cost that you're allowed to put into your deck at the beginning of the game is like at 72. And to get your cost up, you have to get it all the way up to that point. But you also have to get it higher than that, so you actually have to get cost. It would actually put it into your deck. So it's just a grind fest. And most people I've seen that actually do it, play that game, they just use cheats to get their um, decks just maxed out so they can play the game more. So, it's just, it's, yeah. it's, there's no point to it. The moment but, you have to like, use cheats to have fun is either the fault of you or the game, and I think this is the fault of the game on this one. Yeah, because it was literally impossible. Like You had to use cheats to get where you need to get to. Yeah. You had to. And if you didn't, you were grinding for at least, and I mean at least 100 plus hours. That much. Yeah, it takes a long time. You have to beat. You have to beat them down from eight thousand to zero. You also have to keep in mind that in this game, your life points will just automatically refill themselves. No, you have to go back to your house and rest. Your life points back. So you have to beat them down. Don't die. Get your life points back and continue doing it. And you also have to keep betting cards. You get better cards, etc., etc. You have to keep doing this for the long time. Just get high enough. Like I said, you started at seventy-two, and a duel. I think one or two duels can usually raise you up maybe two to three points at a time. Maybe. Uh, see, that reminds me of uh, I'm playing this game called Moonlighter, and right now it's free on Xbox uh, Game Pass. And basically, you're a merchant who you're a merchant who basically goes into one of four dungeons, and there's one specific for merchants to like get materials. So your whole thing is you go to a dungeon. You fight, and then uh, you go to a dungeon, you fight, you get materials, you come back to your shop and sell it. And you can also use those same materials to like upgrade your stuff. Well, 
when you sell stuff, it doesn't have a price. You set the price. So the glitch they have is, well, I'll, I'll say it like this. There's three prices, three price points you can sell it for. The, I got a great deal, sorry, four. I got a great deal. I paid normal price. It's a high price, but I guess I'll take it. And then I ain't paying for this. What happens is you have to do it where it's like a golden, like a, oh my God, I got a best deal. And as they are like taking the item, you have to go into like where you put the item down for display. The item will be gone, but the price will still be there. You add that item, like you have a, another item because you get like multiple like jellies or whatever. You put it down so you'll have an item for them to take. And then you raise the price to like 999000 Like, sorry, nine ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine, And then they buy it for that price. And that's how you get infinite money. Damn. Thanks. But I, I want infinite money. But the only thing I say is it still doesn't take away from the game because you still have to get good. Like, I'm about to let my cat out real quick. But, um, you hear him? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I heard it a second. It's like, Quack! like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, and like basic game, it's a, definitely a glitch that should probably be. Actually, no. Honestly, if I was a developer, I wouldn't even fix it. Like, if you really want that much money, go for it. Well, it just makes it a lot easier because here's the thing if you die in the dungeon, like, you'll get spit out the dungeon, but oh. you lose everything you just collected. Yeah, I mean, it's not a great thing, but yeah, I mean, that money would definitely help. Sorry, my cat, is just, he's like calling at me. He wants to play with the laser pointer. <laughs> but um, actually speaking of SMT games, I know this is a slight topic, but I'm going to try and finish it Survive as soon as possible because the uh, new uh, Soul Hackers game, I will be playing that. Soul Hackers 2. I will be playing that and I'll be streaming it or putting it on YouTube. So we get to see that because I did pre order for it and I'll do all the DLC too. I haven't played Persona 4 yet. I'll get around to it. Actually, I ended up buying that on Steam because it went on sale, so I bought it. Yeah, it was on sale when I bought it too, I think. It was either on sale when I bought it or like a week after. I'm still waiting for the Persona 3 to come out so I can experience that. I already have Persona 5. I haven't finished it yet. I need to finish it. But I'm probably going to put them in the back burner only because uh, the game's for you too. I want to finish more importantly. Then I want to finish um, the uh, just free to play games like that because I'm enjoying the games I play for YouTube. That's the reason why I want to finish them too so I can just have the video set up and I can just record and I have my leisure. Yeah. Uh, have you oh, are you excited for Destroy All Humans 2 remake? So I actually never played the Destroy All Humans games. I I've watched gameplay but I never played it, so Last mm. of Uh uh two is a great <laughs> one. Uh I honestly I'm not a big fan of the first one. So I would recommend starting at two. Actually, here, sorry, one second. I actually got an interesting topic to you. So you know about the new Bleach anime that's coming out in October, right? The um, the the series continue. Yeah, I heard yeah. about it. Did you hear about where it's going to be streaming? No. Where? Disney Plus. Well, it looks like I'm not watching it. <laughs> if you have Verizon, you could have watched it. <laughs> no, the closest thing Disney Plus uh, had to make me want to get uh to make me want to get it is the Star Wars. And that's it. You Honestly, like I never finished Bleach either, so, like, if I don't watch it, that's fine. Mm, not this one. So, the new season is, like, the final two arcs from the manga. 
And my understanding is that literally, if it had it played when it was supposed to in the anime, it would have brought it up to the same heights as almost One Piece or even Naruto, for that matter. The ending parts get extremely good. And I've actually read some of the parts from it, and I'm like, holy hell. That's probably why I just needed what they did. Yeah. I think, I've I've only like, I think I only watched like a season or two of Bleach. Uh, yeah, like... Yeah, no. I, I finished Bleach, don't like it except for all the filler. There's so much filler. Like, this yeah. almost had, it was almost as bad as uh, Naruto when it came to filler. Yeah, I know like Naruto had like way too much filler. I also watched a season, I think a season and a half of Naruto. I'm like, okay, I'm done. I guess I'm not like interested in that type of uh, anime. Fair enough, but yeah, no. Um, yeah, I will be watching that though on Disney Plus because I already have Disney Plus, so it's already forgiven. But they just caught me on group that they actually did that. So now my whole thing from here now is like whether or not they can actually go and try and acquire more anime and start throwing anime into its own section on Disney Plus. As long as not like exclusive to Disney Plus, I don't mind. But it's probably, I think it's doing the same thing. Yeah. It's probably going to be exclusive, though, because that's how they're going to get more people to uh, watch their stuff. Disney yeah, think about it. They want people to uh, pay for it, so they're going to have exclusive things. That's why Netflix yeah. does the same thing. You got H uh, or High Dive now doing that same thing, too. I have no idea what High Dive is. High Dive it's is another like... anime stream service, and it has like six different anime that are only exclusive to it, too, now. Apparently, the. um. If you watch, um, is it wrong to pick up Cousin in Dungeon? Yes, the newest season came out through them only. Okay, I'm catching up on that. Uh, you can they call it Don Machi. That's yeah, Don Machi. Yeah, yeah. I, forgot, I almost forgot about the DNA. I actually watched it, but the new season's only coming out on High Dive because they got rights to it. Now they're only putting it there. And it's just like this is stupid. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a it's a tactic for uh, basically people to. Uh, Pay for their services. Yeah. Uh this is why people hated cable but enjoy the streaming services. And now that all the streaming services are pulling the same thing that cable does. Like separate the content and to make people pay for it. It's a shitty world. Yep. Does he even wave with his ear? Yes, he can uh, control his ears too. Lutarium on? Yeah. yeah. I wonder if it, get, if it gets annoying it being like shoved around like on stairs and stuff. Is that Omnimon? Yeah, it's um, an NX version. It's not the actual Omnimon, it's just a midget Omnimon. He didn't notice him, he was here the entire time. <laughs> well, I meant, to ask, I meant to ask about it. We kind of got distracted talking about other. Po uh, I've, I've say Pokemon. We got, we got distracted talking about other uh, Digimon. But as a spoiler, that's not really a spoiler. Uh, the actual Omnimon is in this game. I mean, I, if you couldn't figure that out from the small midget one, then that's kind of depressing. But yes, the actual Omnimon is in this game. So, like, that form is like a mini version? Like, can it devolve, digivolve? No, it's a DLC mini version. So it's just cute and adorable. Yes, but also powerful. DLC powerful, got you. Not DLC powerful, just powerful. The uh, the original version of it is actually a lot stronger because I did get a the original version was a lot stronger. Oh no, your fans will know that Omnimon's in there. I mean, if you couldn't figure that out from the fact that they had the NX version, that's pretty depressing. Yeah. <laughs> Man, uh, already insulting your fans. You're a real YouTuber now. Hey, I'm a cat. I can do what I want. <laughs> That's fair. But 
but um, sorry that I did that interruption. You were talking about the Sherlock humans too, right? Oh yeah, I was. Okay. Uh, I enjoyed the Sherlock humans two a lot more than the Sherlock human one. And I do recommend. I right, start out though, but it will be sixty dollars probably. So I don't know. Watch someone play it first to see if you like it. I like it. I might do a watch through of it then, if that's the case. Because right now I already have. Because like I said, I got Soul Hackers coming out the yeah, 26, which I'll be getting it. Kitty Young 26. And then on the second, I also get the um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure game. Yeah, I'm getting that, so I'll be playing that too. Dilda! Yeah, I already know how excited you're going to get, Dank. Don't worry, I will definitely stream it just for you. <laughs> I also haven't seen JoJo's. I should probably watch that sometime. You should watch. So if you watch watch the first season, if you like the lore, it's not necessary. There's lore? The second, yes, there's lore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dank, what's your favorite season then, if that's the case? I'm curious. Out of the ones that are out so far, what's your favorite? Uh, I'm going to say it's probably... Uh, I'm going to say Sunset Riders. God. Um, the one with Jotaro. Uh, I think that's season three. Or uh, season four. You talking about Platinum Crusaders? Yeah. Yeah. Stardust Crusaders? Yeah, Stardust Crusaders. I don't want to say Platinum. Stardust Crusaders, yeah. Um, for me, it's going to be... It's a tie between Part 2 and Part 4. Uh, part 2 with um, Josuke, the Hamon, with his, like... What is it? What is his favorite catch? Oh, yeah. And you're going to say... <laughs> I love that. I love that scene so much. Oh, you're talking about... um, You're talking about... Joseph. Yeah. Yeah, Joseph, and then uh, part four is with Jot uh, Jotaro, the uh, guy. He has a unique hair. And he's a healer. Forgot. Man, no, I, I... that's uh, that's part. That's part four. Yeah, that's uh, Josuke Kidashita, whatever his yeah. name is. Yeah, because then part five is with the one that a lot of people like, and that one I still got to finish it, so that's why I haven't put it on there. But I know that one's actually really good too, though. And then part six is currently out right now, but it's like slowly going through all its episodes. What else, Mimic? But yeah, I'll be uh, playing the um, JoJo's game and streaming it. Oh, also, this game has Mimics in it too. Hmm. I should probably watch JoJo's. That way I know what the hell's going on. I think the game does a pretty good job explaining like the full story, though, because I know that because it's basically it's not a remake, but it's like I think an addition of the old game, the old fighting game they had, which had like every character in it, and it did a pretty good job. Mind you, like telling the story and stuff. Uh, it is a fighting game though, so I'm gonna probably be trash at it. <laughs> it seems... If I can be Xenoverse, uh, I'm sure it can be JoJo's. It's JoJo fans are in a category of themselves. Are they? Yes. I think yeah. JoJo's fan. I know that he's seen it. Um, yeah, you got the... And it was I. Deal! <laughs> yep. See, Deal. The, only thing I, the only thing I know of JoJo's is the memes. That's all I know. <laughs> you, you gotta actually, like, watch the show, though, because the memes are, like, ten times funnier once you actually know, like, where it's exactly coming from. <laughs> Well, I, I hear like great things about it. I just never got around to it. Actually, I'll put that on my list to, next thing to watch. No, it's actually it's really good. Um, especially even story wise too. And not like give credit to the author or Arthur and the artist because the artist basically made his own unique style and he even made it into the uh for a thing. So it's called the um the French yeah. Museum. Yeah, it made it into the museum on its own, and that's like that's pretty huge for a long especially to do, especially for someone who was like actually trying to learn style and learn how to draw that as he was going. Yeah, I think either you told me about it or I, just, or I found out about it. But basically, like, he didn't know how to, like, draw. And, yeah. like, basically, like, he tried to, like, teach himself. A lot of people didn't, a lot of, like, people, like, 
like professors that didn't like it, but like he made his own style and it worked out well. Yeah, but he's also living proof of like you can learn as you go, and yeah. anyone can learn any time too. So, like well, you can see his first evolution. This is its actual evolution in this game, though they have both evolutions. I'm not really going to show evolutions too often, but I just want to show this because Terrymon deserves to get his evolution shown. I just want to say for the fact that uh, Terrymon still looks like a cute little puppy, <laughs> even in his uh, <laughs> even in his evolution. Renamon actually looks. <laughs> Renema actually looks human. Yeah. <laughs> He's a puppy with mini guns. <laughs> this type of puppy. Hey, if nah. it's a cat, if it's a cat mini gun, they'll shoot you first. <laughs> I see that with the cat right next to me, too. You know it's true. He didn't say it wasn't. <laughs> no, don't do my actual cat, not you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think that was. I said that about my cat. Like, he looked straight at me like he knew what I said. Like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Bro, I love when pets are so. I love they when know. pets are so. Also, this guy's a rude asshole. I should have found the bus. Oh, also, this game has, like, Indiana Jones traps, too. You know how you play a game, and, like, if you wait a while for a level, like, it'll, like, have something that tries to kill you? Yeah. Uh, side note to the viewer, he is not referring to the game currently playing. He's referring to another game. I, I thought he was playing the game currently playing, so I have no idea what's going on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> also, side note to Book Rage. <laughs> Look at his adorable run. Look at that adorable run. <laughs> Look at his giant feet. So will he will he D digivolve at all? I can't make him D digivolve if I want to. But uh, the way this game works is basically you digivolve them, you level them up, and you evolve them again. And then you can de-evolve them or re-evolve them to like go into different Digimon. The reason why you want to de-evolve those is because you have to get something called ABI. ABI is a total bitch to get, but you need a lot of it for certain evolutions. Uh, case in point would be like Omnimon. I think you need like at least 80 ABI for the final evolution. ABI does not increase easily. It does not at all. Give me one second because my cat's being a butthole. Uh, cat, yeah, yeah. It's, it's Aries. You should see a mage once a uh, kitten. What state are you in right now? You're in like... Uh, you should message that to him. Don't say it. Message it to him. Yeah. Are you on the East Coast? Let me ask that. I'm close to the East Coast. Uh, I'll just message you. Okay. Yeah, he's not, too, he's not well, too terribly far from your route. Yeah, give me one second. While I trust Big Cat editing abilities, people, people do forget things. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you ain't that far. Yeah. I mean, you far for me dropping off a kitten. But uh, I I already have two cats. I don't want another one. I oh, I was say, yeah, he has six. His cats. Oh damn. Yeah, that's she had babies. She had babies, but yeah, let me go take him outside. Okay. Yeah, this is a tanky uh, Digimon. I don't know why they made him so tanky in this game, but he is very tanky for some reason. It is the tiniest little uh, Digimon ever. Yeah, but he's got some fight in him, though. <laughs> I saw that he did like 150 damage, goodness gracious. <laughs> I, thought was, like, I thought that was a weak Digimon. It normally is. You can usually one shot it pretty well, but it's because it's, it's, it's like a certain mission, so it's like they just strengthened it up for some reason. I think it was supposed to be a Digimon of like, um, 
uh, serves as like how SMT3 and Nocturne's uh, Matador does, where it's like first you to understand that like, you need to understand how like stats and speeds that they'll work, you know how to actually uh, battle for going forward, otherwise you're just gonna get your butt kicked. So I think it was just playing a game just trying to gatekeep you to make you actually work hard to get this win. <laughs> but it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. My whole thing is with Digimon evolutions, like how they evolve like that. I'm not trying to, like, I guess. Uh, actually, let me just say it. Um, why does Garu uh, Gomon have pants? Where did the pants even come from? Where did the guns come from? I mean, the guns are like a part of his body. That's why it's fine. But, but the pants aren't. <laughs> you don't know that. I mean, they're baggy in a sense. So I don't think they're a part of it. <laughs> Also, why will pants if you don't have to? You know what I mean? Oh, damn, it actually is part of the body. Wait, why you say that? I thought the minigun was, uh... Oh, yeah, the minigun's part of the body. It's not... <laughs> I thought, like, you're, like, holding on the inside. Nah, it's part of the body. And that breaks the next, next question. Um... How does he even get his pants on? <laughs> <laughs> like he has mini guns for hands. I, yeah, I think in front of like mini guns, they're all like, you know those uh, grab the crane uh, games at arcades. Yeah, I, like he had those for fingers, which is very unfortunate. Because uh, those crane games suck. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I completely know. What do you know? How much the crane games suck? Oh, and what game? Uh, crane games and like arcades. Let us stuff animals and stuff. You mean the ones that automatically cheat you? Yes. Yes. That ghost is tanky as fuck. No. <laughs> Why did that combo attack do 57, but the regular attack did 56? Because logic. <laughs> yeah, I took a lot of it in high school and still don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you about to hit his second, uh, his second form. So it's, I know, right? That'd be hilarious. But no, the thing too that I like about this a lot is that unlike Pokemon games, like each of Digimon actually have their own like special, unique animation. Like every single one of them do. Yeah. And I actually, I really, I really, I can't say which Pokemon would do this because Pokemon has way too many Pokemon in comparison to Digimon. So it's like almost near impossible for them to do this. But the same aspect, though, it's. I just wish they took more time with their animations. Like, if we have to wait another year, like two years for Pokemon Game, I'm fine. But. Yeah, like, I uh, also like fixes like story and the AI. It'll be a lot better, in my opinion. I mean, they may have fixed story because what it looks, sounds like is, um, Scarlet and Violet actually may be a more unique story to it, which I'm hoping it actually is. Okay, I'll ask about it since he's like my Pokemon intelligence person. <laughs> also, all Digimon have their own personalities. Well, uh, yes and no. Every Digimon in existence has its own personality too. So they're not all like to give an example, this, some angel mon can be kinder, some angel mon can be in, like rage and deuce and like that, that nature. They're kind of like Pokemon in a sense where they can all be the same one but have different personalities. They're not all related to one. Okay. So. From what Dink was saying, I thought you were saying like uh, 
all, uh, all like Terramon or whatever, or like angry all the time, and then all other Pokemon are like sad all the time or whatever. Yeah, that's why I made no, that connection. Yeah. That's why I made that explanation because I figured that's probably where you were thinking. Said what he said. Yeah, yeah I'm not well, a bright person, so I appreciate it. Well, you know how Pokemon can have their own personalities, but it's like Pika 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 Pika. Pika. That's yeah. what right. Like that doesn't that shows some expression, but these seem like another form of humans. Well, Digimon can also speak too. Yeah, Wait, they can speak like human, uh, understandable language. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that that's great. Yeah, you see those texts? Alpha Mom literally just texted me like an entire text message, being like, <laughs> "Oh, hey." <laughs> like, Wait, did you want just text you? Yeah, in this game, I'm, I'm cutting out mostly, but uh, in this game, they they can text you, they'll like ask you questions, so like that, and just it's it's for random stuff. <laughs> hey, can you buy me some food? I'm hungry. <laughs> like in this game, or. Well, let me just say this okay. quick. in this game, you like sometimes have to motivate them. They'll be like, I've been training at the farm for too long. I don't like this. Nyan, nyan, nyan. It's like, oh, come on. You can keep on going. You can keep on doing it. Blah, blah, blah. All right. What was you going to say? Mm. All I was going to say was when I say, like, also with the personality, and you can talk to them, they are more like partners, not pets if that makes sense yeah yeah i know i can pokemon it's more like uh it closer to animal cruelty than pokemon it feels like i mean it depends like you have rocket and them being like that but even then so like some of the training but you still treat them as like pets it's just battling something that they do they're not like doing it to harm them they still take care of them like you're not there's not going to be flicked fatal wounds in Pokemon, whereas in like actual animal violence, there could be. If that makes any sense. Yeah. I'm just saying, yeah. Peter has not uh, said anything against Digimon. I mean, the reason why they haven't because Digimon are digital. That's why. If Digimon were like, quote unquote, considered alive monsters, too, they wouldn't use their shit. I mean, technically speaking, so is Pokemon. So <laughs> Pokemon is also digital. Well, not in the universe. So. Yeah. So that's like the only difference. Peter does know that they eat Pokemon and Pokemon, right? I like, that's an actual thing that they do. I think they know that, but I think it's just one of those things that's like not really mentioned too much. They don't really mention it much in the anime either. Yeah. It's like Which is probably for the best since, like, the audience is, like, teenagers, if not younger. I mean, the audience used to know that cannibalism is a thing. <laughs> not how far the family tree goes for it to be considered cannibalism. What do you mean? Uh, can we eat? Uh, I'm guessing like a bubble so I can't eat a uh, war turtle. Because that would be cannibalism. But can oh. Eevee eat its evolution? Or could, could a ditto eat a ditto that's transformed? I don't think that's cannibalism for a bubble sword to eat a war turtle. They're you not the so? same. No, they're not the same egg groups, not the same family group at all. It, <clears throat> and Eevee eating its evolution would be cannibalism because they're in the same family type. Group slash egg group, EVs can mate with any of its evolutions, and any evolution can mate with EV. But if I remember correctly, War Turtle and uh, Bulbasaur shouldn't be in the same egg group. Not Bulbasaur, uh, Squirtle. Uh, Bulbasaur and Squirtle aren't in the same egg group, if I remember correctly, so they're, they're therefore they're not related in any way, shape, or form. So eating one another is just seen as part of the ecosystem. What about uh, the Ditto? Eating a transformed Ditto. I mean, does Ditto even eat anything, though? I have no idea. I, I don't know if <laughs> half the Pokemon eat. Like, does a uh, Bulbasaur eat grass? Would that be considered cannibalism? No, he practices uh, photosynthesis. 
That's true. I forgot I sort of supposed. He to doesn't say. have roots. He still needs to like know it somehow. No, there's a, an entire episode where he like just does a photosynthesis and it's for food. That, I think not sufficient for any plant ever. So far, they have roots. And suspicion for him. <laughs> He's also a real life solar panel that can literally shoot a laser. I mean, that's just solar beam, though. Yeah. Um, can uh, Stone Lux do the same thing? I think Stone Lux can use solar beam. I don't know. Can no, even use a uh, hyper beam. Oh, you know, yeah, there's hi that, that's hi there's hyper beam. Yeah, I know that, but can use solar beam unless more accurate, though. I, I wouldn't know, to be honest with you. No, I'm looking it up. No, oh, okay. Or deep into like the philosophy of Pokemon in a Digimon game. Yeah, it's really Nice. No. They can absorb the sun and shoot the solars. Uh, my uh, computer screen just turned like white and my eyes just died. What a beautiful sight. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know, I can't see it. Yeah, I'll be honest, I have, like, no knowledge of Digimon, so I cannot contribute to anything in, in this game at all. I mean, like I said, you can just ask questions. If you're just curious about what's going on, or who's Digimon you see, or evolutions, things of that nature. You can just ask, I'll answer it, because I got a pretty good understanding after playing both Cypress Memory, uh, Cypress Sooth and Heifer's Memory. Yeah, I can't think of a question, to be honest with you. So I will say this though, um, gameplay story wise, if you compare Pokemon games to Digimon games, uh, Digimon games normally have the better story overall. And now, especially with Digimon Survive that came out, they actually have also the darker stories overall, because Survive, people can die. And even talking about Cyber Suit the Hacker, remember Cyber Suit the Hacker, remember getting some pretty dark topics too, like hella dark topics. So. Is there yeah. like different types in Digimon like there is in Pokemon? Yes. So you have your like little water, fire, grass, wind, earth, tree thing. But you yeah. also have the uh, data, vaccine, and virus types too, which is another thing. And also free types. Yeah, I, I did see, uh, I think, uh, the one of the miniguns is now a vaccine type, I think. Yes. Which He's means no nothing to me. <laughs> so he's strong against viruses but weak against data data is strong against vaccine but weak against virus and virus is strong against data but weak against vaccine simple as okay that. uh you also have a fourth type called the free type the free type isn't weak or strong against any of those other three mentioned but whatever type that they're considered so if, like say they're considered a fire free type or a wind free type their uh elemental they have the elemental weakness, so if they're fire, they're water, they're weak to water, but strong gets grass. That makes sense. Okay, okay, I got you. Yeah. So, it's not like it's not like Pokemon where they have like multiple weaknesses, they only have one weakness and it goes like in a circle. That's about it. Yeah, kind of like a uh, fire, grass, and uh, water, but yeah. there's nothing outside of it. Yeah. I guess it's more like uh, the fire emblem. A spear, axe, and sword. Kinda. Kinda, but the only difference is um, in um, this Digimon game, you can uh, stack the weaknesses. So say you're fighting um, a fire vi uh, virus type and you have a water vaccine type. When you hit them with a the water move, you get the times three damage because you're hitting them with a you're hitting a, a virus Pokemon as a or a virus Digimon as a vaccine Digimon, and you're also hitting them with their elemental weakness. Okay. 
so you can stack the uh, damage. What's that scan thing anyways? So the scan thing is once it gets above 100, I can take it into the uh, Digilab and get, get a copy of that Digimon. Okay. So one time, though. Okay, you can't like um, uh, catch it in like a USB drive or whatever. No, that's how you get it. You get it by just seeing the Digimon enough times and then you copy it. And then put it into your, uh, um, you put it with Muriel, but the thing you may have seen a few times where I've talked to her in her actual space, uh, and there, there's like a farm and also a, a data, a bank of Digimon you can have. Yeah, I remember it talking about a Digi farm, mm -hmm. but I didn't know what it was talking about. Yeah, no, I, I think I showed it in the first episode only. I think it, I didn't really want to show it too much, but basically, Digi farm is also a really broken thing because you can, um, leave your Digimon in there and I realize it's on accident. If you leave your Digimon in there and your uh, Switch is asleep, but not turned off, which I have, that's how I usually have when I have my Switch asleep, it technically continues time. And every, like, minute they're in the farm, they get experience. Oh. That's so, going out of hand. So, uh, <laughs> when I was doing the recordings for this, <laughs> you're going to notice it, that the Digimon is going to jump and level out of nowhere. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> oh, that is bad. <laughs> it's like my uh, switch has been asleep on charge for about three weeks. Yeah, yeah. It still technically records time and everything like that. It's still going. So if you have like this game in there for that, your Digimon would still be leveling up. Now, the good news is there are uh, level caps. Um. So basically, I just what I did is I used that to my advantage, where I would like just play for a little bit, do the recording, and then every once in a while, like to pop in, do some uh, changing around, do some evolution, then keep going on, because it just saved me on having to grind too much and be able to complete and progress the story with these. So. And you still have to wait a long time anyway for like to really take effect, so. It, it is what it is, I guess, in my opinion. How long are we talking about? The Digi Farm uh, leveling. Yeah, like how long? What do you mean, how long? Uh, how long to like get them to like a high level? Uh, it depends on a lot of uh, aspects. So in the farms, you can uh, get some items that uh, boost experience growth. Mm -hmm. If you have some of those items, it'll make it so you uh, level up a lot faster. Um, but like, say if you were to go overnight, there's like, let I said overnight, most of you models, and you have like a level cap that's at least above 50, they'll usually get up to like the 40s from overnight. Okay, that's a lot faster than what I was thinking. Yeah. I thought like, it would take like a week or so to get a path like level 30. No, no, no. It's like when you get to the 40s and higher, that's when it starts to slow down. Ah, it's, okay. like, it's like mid 30s to 40s, depending on some Digimon. And then after like an entire week, though, it probably can get up to like 70s. It's just it's like, again, it's just an estimation, though, but it's like the round. It's so beautiful that it's broken. AFK Heroes, download and play for free today. It's literally what it is. <laughs> but um, like I said, it just helps out, though, because. It allows me to get some really cool Digimon in the end.
name into everything you see. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? I said ram into everything you see. Video game oh, 101. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I got like finish my uh, scripts because I plan on like making uh, video game educational, uh, educational like video game series. And like one of the videos I want to add is like video game quirks that you learn over time. And one of them is going to be like either hitting everything or running into everything. Will, will definitely be one of them. Sounds like a lot of work. That's too much work for me. I just like just coming on here and just talking. Oh, so it is. That way. <laughs> uh, I'm like half a so I'm like half a done with a, a script about HUDs. I'm strictly going to do like fancy games because that's the one I have the most practice in. Plus, my name is Broken Mage, so it fits. Uh, something that I uh, I'm having trouble with is to make it specific enough to be useful, but general enough to apply to many games. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a pretty hard thing to do. Oh, absolutely! It is not a fun time. Well, it's interesting to see like how useful I can make it. It's not impossible. There's definitely ways to do that. It's just going to be really hard, especially with like a lot of new games trying to have their own new, uh, new mechanics make them different. Yeah. So right now I'm pressing on HUDs. Uh, basically, I'm talking about health bars, uh, different effects that could pop up. Uh, maybe have like weapon on the side, like for the thing for some shooters have like the gun and the ammo and stuff like that. And that's and that's pretty much it. And after that, I'll be done with that video. Gotta voice it and then move on to the next one. Yeah, that was also a boss fight. So this is how boss fights normally go on from now on. They're a lot quicker. That other boss fight was just complete bullshit. Wasn't that like one hit? <laughs> it was two, but yeah. <laughs> That's close enough. <laughs> one hit wonder? Almost. Who tapped tipping? I will say this, I do like how they kind of like wrap up stories in um, uh, Cyber Sleuth because like you'll complete a case and then you get to hear the, the person's side of it and they'll talk about why they did what they did and stuff like that and it gives you like the full uh, perspective. That's good to hear. Like, I don't like uh, games where you only hear like one side of it and like, like your character like refuses to hear the other side, even if you're curious. Yeah, no, that's never fun, because then it makes it seem like the uh, character had no actual motivations. Yeah. Well, it also says, like, uh, I don't know if you played Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I have actually never played an Assassin's Creed game. Like, I've watched gameplay, but I've never played one. Okay. Well, in, in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you go back to, like, Ancient Greek. Ancient Greece, or whatever. And you talk to uh, Socrates, who was, like, basically the founder of uh, modern philosophy. Anyways, uh, you talk to him a lot. The problem with that is not that you talk to him, is that when he like quizzes you on like complex discussions, you only get like three answers, and none of them are satisfying, at least to me. Which, uh, with a game as as comp, uh, when you talk about something as complex as philosophy, having more than like three answers is kind of important. I mean, but sometimes it's just hard to have more than three, though, because look at um, Survive. Survive, when um, when I finally do a string read, and I'll make sure you join it on the next one, you'll see what I'm talking about. They only have about three options, usually, for like your choices that affect your morality. And sometimes those get into pretty heavy questions, but you're also trying to see it from talk of Muslims and not your own. So it's kind of like a... It's a weird mixture. But yeah. I, I understand why they only get, like, three choices, really. Yeah. I mean, they can't... I know that they couldn't like program like 20 of them or something like that. But I'm hoping like something like philosophy like nuance and like his questions were even more so. Yeah. So like he is known in like the study of philosophy as like the one who kept pestering people for uh with questions. 
And I also hold over quick. With that, this episode's over. Big Cat is signing out. <laughs> I completely forgot to look at the timer on that one. Um, okay. Y'all just sign out. <laughs> uh, book me signing out. Dank meme slash dank ghost signing out.